In this video, we'll be trying out our first digital microscope. Andostar was kind enough to send us their AD205 microscope to try out. I was pretty excited to play with one of these. I've made a couple of videos using tr a traditional microscope, and I've always found it a little cumbersome to take pictures through the eyepiece. So I'm really looking forward to trying a microscope with a screen that can capture photos and videos. It's also exciting to see how low the prices are on digital microscopes these days. The box is somewhat generic. It really doesn't say much about the product inside, so let's open it and see what's in there. In the box, there is a remote, a set of microscope slides, a movable block for the slides, and the main microscope body with a USB cord for power, and some different light barriers. There were no power specifications included for the microscope, and we first tried using one of our phone chargers to power it, which did not work. We found that by plugging it into any of our PC USB ports, it was able to power on. So now the microscope is powered on. Let's start with the translucent light barrier, and we'll take a look at one of the slides using the movable brick. Actually, it looks like we'll need to adjust the height for this brick height, so let's just put the slide directly down without the brick. This is a honeybee leg, and it looks like we're able to get a great view and get it into focus. Let's try another slide. This is a honeybee wing. Now as I try to snap a photo, notice it's not able to capture a picture. That's because you need to insert a micro SD card, which is not included with the microscope. It can take up to a 64 gig SD card, and fortunately, we have an SD card reader built into our laptop, which makes it super easy to transfer pictures. So after we insert the SD card, I'm now easily able to capture photos from the microscope, which is really cool. Let's try one more photo. This is a corn stem. We can adjust the light with the control knob here in the center and capture another photo. Now this microscope can also capture video, and here I brought in some water from our small pond, hoping I could find something cool swimming around in it. Unfortunately, I wasn't lucky enough to find anything quickly. We have seen some cool stuff with our standard microscope swimming around, but it does take some patience. Here are pictures from slides that come included with the Andostar 205. It's always fun to find more things around the house to see what they look like under a microscope, so here's a few more. 